Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to my top three songs of the year. Sorry, it came a bit late this year, but I'm excited to give you guys my top 30 songs of the year of uh, 2022. So we're going to start off with uh, Sit Shiva here at number 30. This is a touching song about loss during the pandemic. Up next, we have uh, this is God Turned Me Into a Flower by Wise Blood. Uh, one of the best builds I've heard this year. Just a beautiful, beautiful song. Next, Baby, I Had an Abortion by Petrol Girls. This is a great hardcore, hardcore punk song that came out around the same time that Roe v. Wade was overturned. So a very, very timely song. Next is the Hyperpop Banger CEO of My Ass by Dev Lemons. Really, really uh, excited for what uh, Dev Lemons has been up to. I hope she releases more music next year. Next, we have Aquamarine with uh, Black Thought and Danger Mouse. This has some of the best hip-hop production of the year. And after that, we have Why by Chat Pile, one of the most harrowing songs um, I've heard this year. A metal song, uh, which is not a genre I usually vibe with, but um, this has some great commentary on uh, homelessness. And up next, we have The Flag is Raised by Blade and Echo 2K. This was the year that I really started to warm up to Blade. Um, uh, this is being one of my favorite songs of the year. Uh, just the production on this is amazing. I love this this kind of dream pop sound that um, they went for on this album. I think it worked really well. Up next, we have Walkin' by Denzel Curry. Some of the best lyricism on any rap song this year. Amazing, amazing flows. Next is Matilda by Pup. A touching song uh, written about the um, <clears throat> guitarist of Pup's uh, guitar, uh, which was named Matilda, and um, uh, how he misses that guitar. Just a cute song. Next, we have The Cognitive Trade-Off Hypothesis by Viagra Boys. The song has a vibe that I cannot explain. It is so unsettling. Next, we have uh, At 20, Expert in a Dying Field by The Beths. This is... Um, uh, a great opener to an amazing album by the Beths. Uh, they are just unstoppable indie rock, uh, unstoppable force in indie rock. Uh, up next, Lungs by Stella Donnelly, a similarly really strongly wit written um, indie rock song with a great chorus that's been stuck in my head all year. And up next, we have at number 18, I've Still Got Something to Teach You by Violet Pony. I know it is a, um, a, a brony song, um, but trust me, it is actually super, super quality. Uh, once you get past the, the silly lyrics and the, um, the album art, um, you'll find one of the best progressive pop songs you'll ever, you've ever heard. And uh, up next, we have Saoko by Rosalia, which is just a banger. Uh, uh, one of the most hype songs of the year. The piano switch up is incredible. And uh, Rosalia's vocal performance is so energetic. And up next, we have About You by The 1975. Um, it's my favorite track on their new album. And it is just such a gorgeous, hazy, dream pop song. I love the Carly Cosgrove feature in the middle of it as well. And uh, up next, we have uh, Western Wind by Carly Rae Jepsen, which was her first single to her amazing new album. Um, and this is just such a breezy, amazing pop song. It really gets me into the spring uh, spirit. Up next is uh, Atopos by Bjork, uh, her lead single to her newest amazing album. And uh, this one is actually insane. The woodwinds are, are so out there. The melody is so unexpected. It's this really weird, unsettling, kind of fun uh, club banger. And at 13 is Broken by Little Sims, which uh, upon first listen, listen was uh, one of the most crushing and emotional songs of the year. A great, great song about the importance of paying attention to your mental health. And after that, at number 12 is Loveology by Regina Spector. This is Regina Spector's, one of Regina Spector's best songs, and it's been in her catalog for a while now. She's played it live um, since her early on in her career, and now finally it's released uh, official studio version of it and it's uh, laden with these lush strings and obviously the lyrics on the song are are, are just so uh, so powerful but also so silly uh, very memorable and after that at 11 we have the heart part 5 by Kendrick Lamar which uh, is an incredible incredible track uh, Kendrick Lamar's return 
uh, ushering in his newest album, of course. And uh, even though that album is all amazing, I still just can't get over how how amazing the um, the lyricism on the Hard Part Five in that music video too. Super super memorable. And starting off the top ten, we have Sidelines by Phoebe Bridgers, which uh, was a a great one off single from her. Uh, just just you know classic uh, uh, Phoebe Bridgers lyricism that really makes you stop in your tracks and and just cry for a bit. Um, I really hope that, uh, that Phoebe does something, uh, this upcoming year. That would be, that'd be awesome, uh, to follow up her amazing 2020 album. And, uh, after that, at number nine, we have the Dripping Tap by King Gizzard. This is a, a more than 15 minute long, uh, psychedelic rock jam that is just mind melting and super energetic and, uh, and blood pumping and, some of the, my favorite riffs of the year and melodic patterns. Just cannot get enough of this song. I've listened to it so many times, even though it is an incredibly long track. Um, and after that, we have Welcome to Hell by Black Midi, which is a crazy, crazy song and a great opener to uh, uh, Black Midi's newest album. Uh, seeing this song live was one of the most incredible experiences I've had this year. And up next, after that, we have a cover, actually. This is, um, uh, oh, sorry, no. After that, we have uh, Neon Memories by Death's Dynamic Shroud, uh, which bends electronic music to new places and uh, has an incredible drop. I'm really uh, taken by what Death's Dynamic Shroud has been doing recently and uh, and hope they continue on that, uh, continue that with the... Um, with their releases in the upcoming year and now we have the cover this is uh this is words by storefront church which contains one of my uh favorite musical moments of the year um which includes uh, a vocal and uh instrumental dropout uh, uh just a very surprising and um uh emotionally powerful moment and of course this is a cover of the uh the low song um uh, uh words off of their first album, a tribute to uh, uh, one of the members of Low who passed away this year. After that, we have Billions by Caroline Polachek. This is one of the best produced pop songs I've ever heard. Uh, production's incredible. Love the children's chorus at the end, uh, the way the melodies weave into each other and just create this incredible soundscape. I do think the Caroline Polachek album is uh, shaping up to be one of the best albums of next year. After that, we have uh, Surround Sound by Jid. This was on constant repeat for me for the entire year. I've memorized most of it. Uh, it is one of the few uh, few songs that I have completely memorized the lyrics to. Uh, I think Jid is incredible on this track. This is really him coming into his, his own, and uh, it really was his time to shine. And I think, uh, you know, obviously 21 Savage and Baby Tate kill it on the song, but he comes back with that amazing verse at the end. Just, just fucking incredible flows. Uh, cannot get enough of this song. This is 100% hip hop song of the year. And up next after that, we have The Place Where He Inserted the Blade by Black Country New Road. Obviously, it doesn't have to be said, but I'll say it anyway. The song is devastating. The song is powerful. The build is incredible. The vocal, uh, uh, the, the the vocal powerhouse of this band is on full display, and uh, it's really unfortunate that um, I will never get to see the song live because uh, obviously Isaac, the lead singer, left the band. And um, yeah, I've I've heard that they're uh, uh, they already have a, a new set of songs that they're performing live, and I, I hope I hope they release that in some form. Um, this upcoming year. And up next, we have Simula Simulation Swarm by Big Thief at number two. Uh, obviously, uh, Big Thief have been around for a while in the indie rock scene, but I really think they came out with a masterpiece this year with uh, Dragon New Warm Mountain, I Believe in You, and Simulation Swarm is uh, an obvious highlight on that album. I would put uh, Little Things on this list if it hadn't already came out last year. Um, but Simulation Swarm is a, is a, is a nice close second. Uh, the lyricism on this song is so mystical. I love the guitar solo. It's just perfect. 
uh, everything about this song just uh, uh, really ties the album together and um, shows off Adri how, why I think Adrian Lenker is maybe the best songwriter um, alive at this point, active songwriter. And for the song of the year, my song of the year, that is going to be um, Concrete Over Water by Jockstrap. Um, for a while, my song of the year was uh, Simulation Storm, but in the last second, this one really just grew on me. Um, the, uh, the, the longing in the lyrics and the, uh, oh my gosh, the, the, like the weird beat switch, the directions this song pulls you are just so unexpected and so memorable. And I really just cannot get enough of it. I've listened to it so, 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 so many times. Um, and, uh, I, <laughs> it really makes me, um, just beyond excited for, uh, Jockstrap as a duo because they really pulled something on this song that, um, uh, something really unique that uh, I haven't heard from many other artists. And that is my top 30 songs of this year. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you want to check me out, I am on uh, Twitch, on Twitter, um, pretty much on every platform under the handle Just Cam Will. And I do music commentary streams, and I will have a video out tomorrow for my top 30 albums of this year. So keep, uh, keep your eye out for that one. It should be out pretty soon. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, check out that video tomorrow.